What is up everybody and welcome to game 128 of Let's Play Elite Champion for today's game. I'm going to be playing as the newest champion for League of Legends as of patch 6.6, .6, Aurelian Soul. So uh, yeah, Aurelian Soul is a pretty cool dude. Uh, he is a dragon actually and he's actually pretty good because I played him before this game. A rank game and it went really well like I, I did actually like really awesomely but sadly like we st started losing the game towards like later parts because not everyone was doing as well but I was really impressed by like how strong or like the things I was pulling off in lane I was playing versus a Katarina so maybe it has a little bit to do with that matchup but um yeah it's just wow like I, I really really enjoyed playing him but I don't know if it was just like uh, beginner's luck or whatever and like people were just freaking out to the fact that you know I was playing a new champion but look at this champion like the tail follows me around no matter like how fast I I twist around like this look look how fucked up the tail is going like going under and over me and shit that is really cool but anyways um oh are we getting invaded and shit uh oh um I guess that is what's supposed to happen oh my god he actually got the E on me is this worth backing out for to heal up? It is like a hundred damage that he's dealt to me for free. It's probably not smart to uh Yeah, it's, it's smart to just go back quickly. Alright. So anyways, anyways, uh that was a little bit of a slow start. The fact that he got his E on me was kinda shitty. But uh okay, so let's see here. Uh oh yeah, so something that I should probably add is that I noticed in the Shami Spotlight they mentioned that um the the, like this tail part of Aurelian Soul that is not part of his hitbox and that's kind of why they made like see through like that because basically this part cannot be hit by anything so uh, if you try to hit him try to hit him where he actually has colors right because that's where his hitbox actually you know exists okay anyways uh, so you probably have noticed already that uh, I have like these three huge comet star things like floating around me these little things actually deal damage constantly uh, the problem is that they don't really deal that much damage early on and they're very slow so it's actually really hard to time them with like uh, harass or like even last hits but uh, thanks to the W spell uh, they do become faster and I believe they do also more damage and um, what what it allows is also like it it goes further away from you so you don't have to be so close to deal damage with it uh, okay so level 2 I'm pretty sure I, I have to pick it but anyways uh, I have to play against Mossar, unfortunately, this game, as you all know, uh, Mossar is really bullshit champion, and maybe you can actually. Oh wait, no, that was too. Oh no, maybe not. No, oh my god, I messed up. Oh, oh, the damage, the damage is real. Oh, I think that might be him dead. Okay. Oh, he's gonna live. Damn, if I actually manage to time my, st I, I feel like. Shago should have waited there because uh, my Q spell basically works like an Ivias. Oh my god, I didn't mean to press W there. Uh, did he go back? Yes, he did. Nice. Okay, so basically the Q is like a Nivia Q. You throw out this big ball that stuns when it detonates or like it it like lands on its uh, what's it called? Its destination. But the thing about the stun is that it gets bigger the longer Aurelion follows it. So um, the hitbox becomes like invisible to avoid almost. Oh, first blood goes to bot side. Oh, it's so low, dude. Okay, let's put a ward here, though. Okay. Okay, let's try and do that Q. Let's see how big we can get it by just following it like this. Oh, no, wait, wait. It has to be smart, like this. See how big it got? Like, that is that is actually a hitbox of it as well. But, uh, sadly, it's really fast, so without boots, it's actually pretty hard to uh, get it really big. The idea is that you get it big to get it with your E spell, which is actually a pretty unique spell in this game. I don't think there's any other spell like it. It kind of reminds me of a Hecarim E, except that it's always on. <laughs> That's like a really weird way to call it, right? Like Hecarim E, but it's always on? Isn't that like kind of OP? Yes, but the thing is it doesn't deal damage. It just increases your movement speed, so uh, yeah. But what it does allow you is that it allows you to follow your, your Q for a much longer time, therefore making it really big. Uh, okay, let's see. Oh, Chick was not coming middle again. Like this, this freaking uh, Mossahar is really prime for a gank. But uh, yeah, nobody's. Chick was. Oh wait, he's back at base. I see. Here we go. Ah, oh, he's like he's ranged. What I did notice was, was against someone like Katarina, it was a lot easier to set up the the Q. But um, yeah, Mossahar is just like a ranged champion, so he doesn't have to like be too close to me. So it's like really hard to actually get him stunned up. 
Anyways, by just cleverly positioning, I uh, get rid of some of those minions. Okay. Uh, okay, didn't want to miss those. Or this one. Nice. That was actually pretty nice farming under turret. It really does suck to play against Mossar, but like, if Shango comes middle, we should be able to kill him, I think. Uh, he does have no flash. Moss, no no flash, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to remind Chico of what happened earlier. Yeah, so let's come come to middle. He doesn't have ultimate yet, so he can't mess us up. Okay, ah, I'm going for it. There's a stun. Oh, okay, I'm going to ignite him. Oh, what? Hang on, dude. Oh! <laughs> oh, shit, wait. I'm running out of mana doing this crap. Uh-oh. Oh, oh he's going to get... <laughs> she was so dead for doing this. Oh, my God. Hang on. I'm fine. Ultima away. Okay. So, my ultimate is basically a straight line shot that pushes people to uh, Aurelian stars. Like, the limit of the stars. So, like, basically, when you ult them, they get pushed, like, here. Um... It's an interesting concept. Basically, what the ultimate allows you to is to knock people back, and you slow them as well, so you can keep them far away from you for a while. But eventually, uh, oh wait, I'm gonna actually try the the Catalyst build this time. What I did last time was uh, the the Seaton Holy Grail build. It went well, but it's recommended that you go Rod of Ages, and I did feel like I was really squishy in my last game. Like I got blown up in team fights really quickly. So maybe be going like t tanky or relevant Rod of Ages into uh, Ryla is kind of like a, a a build that that reminds me of Cassiopeia's uh, core build once upon a time. Uh, I feel I think that might actually be a much better build for Aurelion, so I'm gonna try it out for this game. I I do think that the uh, season's only. Oh wait, we're gonna go ham here. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, what? Oh, the silence messed up my my orb things. Oh, he's dead. There we go. Nice. So, yeah, Chico, you're setting up ganks for me. Uh, I mean, Chico should be setting up ganks. It's freaking, like, muscle hard. Muscle hard has no escapes. And uh, look at this wave clear. Holy crap. You used to sit, in, sit on the edges so that the stars keep hitting. I did notice that this is kind of like the where Aurelian is kind of complicated. You really have to be, like, uh, good at positioning yourself so that the star is always hitting your targets, right? And therefore, you need to, like, look for really weird angles in a way that you do not, like, risk yourself used to be hurting people with the stars but um i think it's really fun like it's definitely a different way of playing the game compared to other champions right it's kind of like having permanent diana w's so what happens when you press a w is that uh yeah it, it the damage goes up by 150 percent okay that's actually quite a big boost and every time you level up the passive or uh, the w the passive damage goes up by 10 or it goes up by like five i think so right now because I only have one point into it, it, it gives me... Oh wait, maybe it goes up by 10 every time I level it up? That's pretty big. Maybe you should be maxing out W first. I might be wrong in maxing out Q. But uh, so far, like maxing out Q has actually like led me to getting a lot of kills. Look at this wave clear, man. It's so beautiful. Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh, I have to ult here. Oh my god! <laughs> god damn it, really? Udyr had to be there while I was wave clearing. That was kind of the, one of the problems what that I was facing too. Uh, when I was trying to push out the lane with my W, I ended up like putting myself in really odd spots where it was like, easy to uh, flank me and stuff. Uh oh, bot lane doesn't seem to be doing too hot. Rip. <laughs> okay, this is not going too well. Mm, should I go boost swiftness? Yeah, I think I think like movement speed is kind of like this guy's theme because if you chase your Q for like long enough, you can actually get quite a lot out out of the huge hitbox. Next time, I would recommend to not tower dive. Okay, hang on. Okay, here we go. Using the E spell to. Oh wait, what? I stopped my E spell. What? You can stop the E spell? Oh my god, okay, sorry guys. This is actually literally my second time playing Aurelion, so do be forgiven. Look at this, this is... Oh no, that's not how I meant to move. There we go. Oh shit, hang on, did Chico just... Yeah, he compromised himself. What? Why did he chase so far? No, dude. Jesus. I don't know what that was up. Well, that was all about, but uh, yeah, let's just keep pushing then. I think I should be safe, like, pushing like this, then. 
Oh, this is so sick. <laughs> okay, uh, let's put another point to the W. The damage goes up. Oh, it's 10 every time you're putting up a level. That's pretty nice. Okay, let's put a pink ward here. And let's just do this. Oh, oh, gotta be careful here. It's okay though. Oh, damn, I should auto attack there. Oh no! Missed. Oh wait, something happening top lane. Maybe I can join there with E? Okay, hang on. Where's my range? The range for the E is pretty long. Uh, okay, let's see if we can do this like this. Whoosh! Oh, I'm not. Oh, he's too far away. <laughs> Even though, like, I flew over and shit, like, it didn't really do much. It sucks. Oh. Okay, let's just show out top. <laughs> what am I doing in this game? I'm, like, roaming and shit for no reason. Actually, it wasn't for no reason, but, like, the East Pole is kind of slow, actually. I thought the, the flying would be a little bit faster than that. Oh, God. Things are definitely not looking pretty in bot. Oh! Ah, oh, nearly. Oh wait, Chico, are you coming? Okay, he's coming. I just got another point into this. Oh! Oh, the stun is real! And then he gets finished off with my W. Dude, this, this Q is like legit as hell. Like, it does a lot of damage. A lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, let's extend the W again and position ourselves here. Look at this push. Constant pushing. Okay. No! Back the fuck off. Eat stun. <laughs> Dude, that is so fun. Alright. Oh, there's a pink word there. I'm gonna ping it out so someone gets it soon. I need to go back so I can't get it. Uh, let's get the blasting wand and let's also get um blue trinket. Yeah, blue trinket is pretty important. The thing about this guy is that if you get caught out, you do have two options. You have your Q and your ultimate, but <coughs> once those uh, spells are off, you're pretty fucked. So uh, yeah, you need to really make sure that if you're going to be offensive with your spells, that you're definitely not going to be in trouble afterwards because otherwise you you're like out of options. Uh, is this guy going to make it up? Boom! Oh! Oh, wait! Oh, wait, they're scared of me. It's the dragon god. Oh, no! No, 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 Checo! No, Checo! Wrong target! Oh, health pots! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Can someone explain me, Aurelian? <laughs> um, don't think I can. Imagine a Nivea, but OP. <laughs> oh shit, no, Bardo. I'm not gonna risk this, this is stupid. Alright, let's just go back to base and get my, um... Wow, did she use heal? Vein, no heal. Oh, look at this. It's a freaking black hole that he creates in, like, recalls. Nice. Alright, let's just go back to middle. Um... Oh shit, Shivana's really low versus that uh, Maokai. Oh well. Uh, oh shit, something's happening in Can I come there? Oh, my E spell is so low range. It's really hard to explain this character though, like really quickly like that. Oh wow, hang on, he's kind of scared I think? Wow, he's scared, yep. Yeah. I'm not gonna be able to do- Oh wait, wait, can I do like a spirit bomb? Ooh. Oh wait, what? Oh no! Wait, I thought that was Chaco. Oh, I'm so dumb, dude. I am so dumb. I thought I thought Chaco was following me. It was Udir. <laughs> oh my god. And now like we have like a super fed vein thanks to me. I love this game. Oh my god, the clown fiesta started. Ah, oh, that was really stupid by me. I'm just being like really foolish, having fun. I mean, it's not a bad idea to have fun, but, like, you know, if you want to win this game, you shouldn't be doing crap like that. I wanted to test, like, how, how far I could follow my Q to make it bigger, with, together with my E spell. But, um, yeah, that didn't go so well. 
How much is my ultimate deal for? 280 with the AP. The slow is 60%. It decays over 4 seconds. So it's not always 60%, but it's a lot of slow though for like a ranged spell. Okay, here we go. Oh! See how big it gets? Holy shit. Does it have a limit? Like, if I can follow it infinitely, does it just get bigger and bigger? Because that is really OP if you find a way to like have enough movement speed to make it super big. To the point that it, like it's impossible to miss that Q. Okay, it looks like... Oh, hang on. Got you. Got you. <laughs> I didn't even get an assist there. I was just distracting them also hard from doing shit. Hang on, something happening bot side? No. Okay, let's pop our health pots and try and do something then. Or? Oh! No way! Oh! Oh, he got her at least. Can he get the blue screen too? What is that shit? <laughs> Come on, one more! No, are you kidding me? Okay, there we go. Oh, he's not dead. Nice. Okay, it all works out in the end. That little gank. Um, next item is gonna be the Nisa Lodge Rod. Or no, 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 it's gonna be these two items. Okay. Because Rylice is gonna allow you to, like, keep chasing people while slowing them down with the W, or with your passives, rather. Um, yeah. Like, even though I'm like, I feel like I'm doing badly with this champion, I feel like I'm having a lot of fun, and that's like really good. So I think, even though I'm gonna record him and everything in this one game, I think I'm gonna keep playing this champion. I don't know, I just feel like his Q has a lot of potential. The fact that he becomes a 2 second stun at level 5, and like how big it can become, it can be like a team fight changer. Oh damn, I missed that. It's kind of hard to farm with the with the W though, we'll have to admit. Okay, so Maokai just teleported to middle, that was kind of odd. Uh, do we go top side maybe? Get this guy? Oh wait, 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 hang on. Oh, Ah, oh, come on dude. Okay, hitting with W. Oh, look at how many hits I'm getting though. Okay, hang on. Okay, there's a stun, and there's my W again. Holy, like, it's like I keep punching him with these, like, stars. It's, like, really funny, but it's really fun, too. It's, like, it's addicting. You just keep hitting them, and you just want to keep positioning yourself in a way that you can keep hitting those stars. And, like, you have to take into account, like, how fast the enemy is moving so that you can always keep, like, hitting with the second hit and stuff. It's, it's really funny because it's, like, you really care about the way you move when you're playing with, like, these little stars. It's really unique. I like it. <laughs> okay. That was actually a pretty easy kill though. It was pretty sick. Like the fact that the, the Q became so big when I followed it with my E. Yeah. I wonder what the best build on this champion is though. I have a feeling I'm gonna go like um Rod of Ages into Rylice into um maybe Luna's Echo because it makes me faster too. I don't know, movement speed just seems to make a lot of sense. Maybe this guy will end up having like a... Oh god. Who there is like a douchebag. I think I'm gonna be fine. Yeah, I'm gonna be fine. What do you keep chasing for? Like, you're never gonna catch me. I do move really fast though with this E spell. It does give you a lot of extra movement. Wait, does it actually give me movement speed? Yeah, continuously moving one direction grants increased movement speed up to 25%. So it is like, um... What's it called? So it is kind of like Hecarim E, except that it's always there. Okay, well, anyways, got my, um, got my niece large rod going. Almost got my, um, my, 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 uh, right is going. Okay, here we go. Okay. Ooh, spirit bomb! Look at how big it is! Oh my god, really? He got really scared. Okay. Oh, okay, hang on. Boom! The stuns, the ults, the ignites. Oh, wait, I got freaking. Whenever you get crowd controlled, your stars actually return to you, which is really sad. Go for the stun, my son! Oh, <laughs> that is so fun! 
Oh my god, I'm playing this champion all day today. Unless he gets banned all the time. Which I have a feeling he will, because a lot of people will think that's overpowered. Man, following your Q is also addicting. Like, this champion's uh, theme is definitely movement. Like, you have to keep following your Q. You have to uh, keep moving so that you can keep hitting with your W. Like, it's... Yeah, it's all about movement. The movement champion. Remember that time in HK where you stole my banner? <laughs> what? Sweet revenge. Alright. Dude, what are you doing? Okay. I don't know if I can save this guy, but I can definitely deal some damage at least. Uh oh. Hey! Got a kill. Alright, let's go back and just get that Rylice. Oh, I think these guys are rip. Wow! Oh, dude! I think you're gonna kill there. Oh, you just let her live. Oh, wait, maybe he can finish it off. Mm, let's get this. Whoosh, look how fast I am. Look at this star god, dragon god, whatever he's supposed to be. I also find it weird that, you know, like this champion actually made it into League of Legends because he's like the closest thing they have to like an actual, like, DT, which is really weird to me. No, the, the problem with this uh, spirit bomb Q is that you can't like change um, movement or like you can't change the angle of wh what you, the way you're going in with it. So like, uh, yeah, if you miss, you you miss like really badly. The only thing I'm not sure about is if you max W or Q first. Oh hey, no, no, you gotta be kidding me, dude. Let's put a blue trinket here. Oh, I kind of wanna use. I, I shouldn't try to like play around with uh, Vayne. Oh, dude, this guy though. Oh, uh, man. Get him? Oh, yeah, the ultimate has a lot of range. I forgot about that. Ultimate does 490 damage at the moment. It's actually not a lot of damage. Dude, I'm like getting fed and shit. This is pretty beast. Oh, the stone and blue crank. <laughs> I kind of just did that for fun, though. Oh, the damage on, on Vayne? Oh, what the hell? Okay, this is actually kind of bad now. Oh, please. Oh my god, the silence. No, please. Okay, hang on. Let's just try out the, the W here. W, W, W. Oh, man. Whatever, Vayne died there. What is going on here? Oh, shit, we died and stuff. Oh, she was gonna beat this. Oh, no. Oh, he's dead. He shouldn't have done that. He wasted his Q. Mall Snow F. Damn. Okay. Um, That was a crazy team fight, though. I think that could have gone better. Mm. <laughs> Hashtag never forget. So how much he grab his bag of peanuts? Um, should I sell my Dorn's Dream and get an easy Lost Rod? Fifteen ability power for what is it like? Oh, that's not a lot actually. It's not worth it unless I can actually like fully build the Echo with it. The Luna's Echo. All right. Hang on, my e-spell is not ready yet. I need to charge it up. There it is at 100, but I'm not in range for anything anything decent. Oh, spirit bomb. Wow, look at how big it got there. Dude. All right, let's just go back. Screw this. I need to get blue buff, I think. I'm not actually running that much out of mana because if you think about it, like the key spell, I mean, it costs 100, but it's not like something I can spam, and unless I have my W up, which costs like 40 mana a second, like I'm not actually spending that much. Wait, did my did my W used to do like four? T no, did he used to do like a thousand? Okay, hang on. Got him. We got him. Oh wait, what? Oh no! Oh no! No no no! Shego, what are you doing? Oh no! Wrong direction! Oh my god, I got trolled. Whatever. Whatever. We still got her, but that was really bad. That was really, really bad by me. I shot my Q like the wrong way. Damn, that sucked so much.
Imagine if I was on Nivea, that would have looked even worse. But because they these guys don't understand how this champion works, they're not calling me out on my mistake. Okay, so that bought the tower a little bit of time. I really need an S, guys. Let me please. 12 4 3. He thinks he's getting an S? I don't think he can get an S anymore like this. <sighs> Okay, let's go ahead and get some more movement speed on these boots. 423. Alright, let's go. Go, 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 go. Jesus Christ. The fact that they have to play tanky dudes really upsets me because... Oh... Oh, come on, dude. Uh-oh. Or? Wait, are we... What, what is going on here? Are we getting somebody here? Please. Boom! The stuns! And then the kills with the W. He should really save his Jin ult shots. <laughs> but alright. We got one. Great. Let's keep doing that, please, team. There we go. Definitely there's some, like, getting used to with this champion. I, I, I would say if you play the champion for the first time, you're probably gonna fuck up a lot. But uh, once you get used to it, I think, I think this champion has, like, potential. The fact that he has a two second stun in AoE, like, I think only. Oh god. Not not god, but like, you know. I think there's only one champion in this game that has that, and it's like. Um, it's. Selene, I believe? Gets stunned. Alright. Nice. Um. I need, like. Oh, wait, I can sell my Dorn's Ring and I can get Luna's Echo, I believe. Yeah, I think I need to wait only, like, 20 gold. Yeah, 20 gold. Well, 10 gold now. Come on, Luna's Echo. Come to me. Okay, got him. Let's go, 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 go. Oh, the spirit bomb. Oh, shit. Oh, this was not planned. Move the fuck back. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god, that was awesome. I got chased down and then like Udyr kept getting slowed down by my Rylai's so that I could actually catch up to him. And because I was so fast with my boost of swiftness and the Luna's Echo, I actually caught up to all of them. It was like really cool. <laughs> okay, let's heal up first though. And let's also get Amphine Tome. Okay, I'm gonna push out bot side. Managed to save the inhib. That's like the best part. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he hit the last Jin. Jin shot at least. The Jin ult. I hit one. He did it. Oh shit, I actually aggroed Gromp there. Didn't mean to. Sorry, Grumpy. Uh, we're gonna do Baron? Okay, I'm coming. Wow, the E spells range now. I'm coming, team! Look at this! It's the Aurelian Soul! Oh wait, I can cancel it midway. Holy midair mambo kill. We got the Baron, so now it's just peaceful killings. Nice. Wow. This is like really fun. I really like the pattern of the, the recent champions that they come out with, like Jin and then Aurelian. Like these are like kind of unique, not so very copy paste, but like they're fun. Like really fun. That's like the most important part. Like I really enjoy Jin. Like I'm playing him a lot these days. Wow, the ultimate's damage not only does it go up and the cooldown goes low, but the slow becomes stronger. That's really good. Um, I guess I should start going towards the uh, voice stuff because the enemy team is probably building like um, MR and shit against me. Okay, let's go ahead and try this one more time. Oh, the spirit bomb! Oh, what? I got stopped. What? What happened? My dude suddenly stopped walking. Or was that the limit? I thought I could go like way further than that. Come on, let's go. So now that I have Luna's Echo, I also have another thing that procs some bursts from my Ws. I have, yeah, I, I was worried that maybe Blitzcrank was standing there. Oh, get hit by my shit. Oh, nice, they got the the Mossar. No! Oh my God, that was so close, dude. What is that damage? It's Oh, come on! There we go, the comment hit it. <laughs> okay, 
Do we just go in now? Yeah, let's go in. Here we go! Boom! Okay. Oh, I missed the Uter! Damn! Okay, we got this. No, really? His ultimate killed me! Oh my god! I'm so dumb! But was it worth it? I think so. Yes, it was super worth it. Good job, team. Can I get this tower? Can I get... No, I can't get voice out of this tower. I need way, way too much gold for that. Oh, the roots. Nice. Good job, team. So, yeah. Can my team actually end this on this? They have to fight the Vayne, I think. Unless Vayne doesn't focus Jin first. Oh, that's a root. Oh, what? Okay, this is turning really ugly. People with very different... Oh, they can end this game. Okay, so the game is over. I didn't even get to show off like a uh, full build Aurelion, but I don't think that was necessary. Anyways, um, yeah, so that was my Aurelion gameplay video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Of course, if this was the first time you're watching my videos, you can always subscribe to me because I'm always trying to double a new game daily. And yeah, other than that, thank you guys for watching. This has been me, Steve Rockstars, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next game.